Yo, what is up? We are back with some more rat spots on Apex Legends Mobile for the World's Edge map. If you guys are new, subscribe, drop a like on this video. Let's get right into it. Now, the spots for this video are absolutely mind blowing and they are all um, extremely useful because they are all at high tier loot areas. So, this means that um, there should be some action here and there occasionally when you're in these spots. So, you can definitely be able to use these to your ability in some instances. The first one is at the sorting factory, and you can actually come behind the crates that you just seen. And this is actually a really, really sick spot if you're needing to go heal and you're actually trying to confuse the enemies because they may either think that you are outside or going up the steps but they would never really think that you are under the steps so um, this is a very good spot to actually go and heal as well as use it for coverage if you are in gun battle now this next spot is more of a sniper spot so keep that in mind but it is a very good spot for picking off enemies basically anywhere at skyhook this is one of the most distanced rat spots in this video but i do think that it deserves a spot because um, you can sit up here and basically pick people off like i said anywhere at skyhook you can see them with the sniper this is basically an easy shot for you. Also, there's this weird crack in the ground right here, so if anyone can find a way to glitch through that and send proof in the Discord server, I will give you a free battle pass. But with that, this next spot is at Epicenter, and it is one of the most broken rat spots at this location on the map. Now, in one of my last videos, I can't remember if it was my first or my second World's Edge video, but I do have another one at Epicenter, but this one is definitely even more broken because you are all around hidden, um, and you're not really floating or in a weird position you're standing completely flat on the ice so you're not like floating or anything and you are also completely hidden once again so definitely use this spot to your advantage and again huge shout out to scarlet i don't know if i said his name already but i know he's gonna love that i threw this spot in the video so again huge shout out to him now this next spot i actually snagged off of watching win sanity's live stream he was uh playing to predator and they did this on a stream so that's where I got this spot from. If you guys have seen this spot anywhere, if you're wondering where you've seen this before, you've probably seen it on his stream. And it's definitely one of the most absolute broken rat spots in the entire game because uh, you're basically completely hidden and it is insanely hard to get in as well as out of the spot. So keep that in mind if you are going to get in here, but um, nonetheless, it is one of the best spots in the entire game. So. If the final circle is that geyser, which is a rare occurrence, but it does happen, it happened to me a few times. If that is the case, then definitely keep this spot in the back of your mind. Uh, if you got an Octane or a Pathfinder on your team, then you guys are completely set. This next spot is basically a 3-in-1, and there's also a glitch tagged along with this because there is an invisible barrier. Unless it's just because I'm on smooth graphics um, and the, the rock's not showing up, that might be the case, but this is invisible on my screen, so I'm going to consider this a glitch. You can basically come right here on Lava City and go behind uh, this entrance to the tunnel and you can also actually get on top of it if you have octane's jump pad or pathfinder zipline once again the jump pads way easier to navigate this spot with because you can shoot right where you're trying to go to and pathfinder ziplines a little bit more weird to control getting here but once you get up on top of this you can stand on the invisible barrier like I was saying or you can go all the way up on top of the entrance and actually sit in a very weird spot. And I'm actually very interested with this because if you have fade I'm sure that you could do the flashback glitch right here and I'm sure that there would be some very interesting results so I might go and test around with that. You guys might be getting a video soon with that. Um, I might be doing some fade glitch spots just um, show you guys some of the broken areas around the map with fade but I know I just said fade too many times, so we're going to stop talking about him. Anyways, I really, really do like these spots a lot because, like I said, it's a three-in-one, all-in-one area, so you can basically get your entire team set up in different spots to completely just rat out the squads that are around this area of the map. To finish it off, we are coming back to Sorting Factory. I like this spot, and I just wanted to throw it in here really fast at the end because this is, again, a very OP sniper spot, and you can see over the entire Sorting Factory. This is kind of similar to the other spot that I showed you guys in part one or part two. I'm not sure again, <laughs> I keep getting my videos mixed up. There's too many rat spots in this game, but there is another one here that you can basically see over the area with, but this one's a little less known out in the open a tiny bit, but you can find coverage around certain, uh, around the beams and certain angles. So play those to the best of your ability. But yeah, if you guys are new, subscribe, drop a like on this video. I will definitely have more rat spot videos coming soon. Hopefully Kings Canyon comes soon. Hopefully Storm Point comes soon and hopefully Olympus comes soon. You guys already know, I will have videos for all of those maps. Until then, stay tuned. I will see you guys later. Have a good rest of the day. Peace.